In this lecture, we are going to learn about natural join. So, what is the definition of natural join? The natural join is the join of the two relations R and S, where R and S are the names of relations, where common columns in the two relations being joined. So, R, quality symbol with S. Look at here, there is no theta like in theta over in equijoin. It does not concatenate the way a Cartesian product over equijoin does. We can perform natural join only if there is at least one common attribute that exists between two relations. The attributes must have the same name and domain. You know that domain is referring to the data type and length of the attribute. The second condition is for natural join applies to those matching attributes where the values of attributes in both the relations are also same. So natural join example is here student sample and result table. Student table sample result table. So look at here there is no condition like where student dot id is equal to result dot id. So the condition is that only the same column name in both table. Look at the student table where attribute id spelling is i and d and look at in result table also with id. So these are the two attributes which are the same in both tables. So the values of these two attributes will automatically match and generates a new table which is in black. So id here in blue and id in green. So 1 is equal to 1 so record is matched so it means that 1 Fahim and student marks are 100 and 2 Hira Shafiq student marks here 80 and two, 3 there is no record in result table for 3 student for with ID 3. So now we are going to word implementation section. Open the database test data and go to the result table then click on structure and change the structure of the result table. Click here change and change the name with id. For satisfying the condition of natural join. Save the result and after that go to console Select ID name marks from student and use the keyword natural join. The table name is result. Execute the query and the result is here. Look at the query. We are not mentioning here that compare where student.id is equal to result.id. So in case of inner join on student.id is equal to result.id. The result will be same. Okay. 
okay so also here mention the attribute type like from student id from student because this is ambiguous attribute due to id is in both table execute the query and result is same as in natural join so in natural join it is easy to uh, implement the query with respect to inner join and also look at the time here for uh, inner join is 0 0.0044 and for natural join which is less time 0 0.0027 so thank you for watching this video